hello and welcome everyone to this tutorial in this tutorial i will show you how we can make an alloy using atomscape with the help of batch and bash scripts so but before that we need to have atomscape installed in our pc and added in our environment path so to do that let's take our environment path environment variables and path edit you can see here i have atom sk added in my environment path okay so let me show you the output at first that what we are going to make okay so this is the nanoware we are going to make today and you can see there are two types of particles and if you if you see here particle types there are aluminium and copper so uh, in copper you can see like it's a uh, 10% copper and 90% aluminium to make this we need to, we will create a batch script at first okay so make a uh, empty text file like uh, name it alloy and so it's a text file you can see i have written echo off that means it will not this command will not show when run by the command prompt now start the start you can see atom scale create fcc that means we're going to create an fcc lattice with 4.046 angstrom lattice constant and all the atoms will be aluminium with a orientation of 100, 010 and 001 that uh, with this command we are, we are creating a single unit cell of aluminium and then we will duplicate it 20 into 20 into 6 so that means like 20 unit cell along x 20 unit cell along y and 60 unit cells along z axis so here is the main here is the uh, simulation cell this is 20 this is 20 and this is 60 then we will select everything out of the nanoware and delete it so select out cylinder and then z so the axis is z axis and these are the origins like 2.5 into box that is the box and 0.5 into box 0.5 into box and 40 so the radius is 40 and select out that means we have made this cylinder so select everything every atoms that are outside this cylinder and then remove atoms select that means all the atoms which were outside this cylinder were removed now select random 10% aluminium so we are going to substitute aluminium with copper so here you can see like double percentage that uh, is for the batch script it means like uh, they are going to select a random 10% aluminium and then substitute the aluminium with copper. So that is it. And this is just for my personal preference. You can see I have converted the LMP to LMP dat because I prefer LMP dat. So here we are making a data file for lamps. And the next thing we need to do is we need to rename it. Uh, not like this we can go to the properties and instead of txt we will make it a batch file that means a batch file yes and we we'll delete it okay so just double click and run so you can see it ran and selecting randomly 10% of aluminum atom you can see here so batch takes a bit of time where batch is pretty fast I will show you so you can see like uh, 7350 atoms are substituted and any place to play, press any key to continue okay. so you can see the file is created mm. so here is the file the same one you can also select the type so like if you want to see how many coppers are there i'm selecting the copper atoms only this is like 10 percent that is 
75 out of 73500 particles whereas aluminum is 90 percent 66150 so like and delete all the aluminum let's see so delete selected so these are the copper particles in my nano wire now we'll do the same thing in bash so open your um, linux distro which you're using right now i'm using kali linux in my wso so let me start it okay so i have created an alloy file so here it is and there is the alloy.sh so let's open the file you can see here it's the same script just in bash so i'll run the script right now bash you see how fast is it so that's done and just open it open with Ovito very good the same file I have provided the batch and the batch script in the description below thank you for watching the tutorial see you in the next tutorial